السلام علیکم دوستو آئی ایم انجینئر سائف اللہ این یو اور واجنگ سیول انجینئر ایڈ سائٹ یوٹیوب چینل سو ڈیار فرنڈز ایس پر یور ریکویسٹ ٹوڈا ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر ویڈ یو دیٹ ہاو آئی گارٹ مائی ممبرشپ ان سبدی کون سلاب انجینئرنگ اینڈ ہیئر آئی ویل ڈسکس آل دا پروسیس سٹیپ بائی سٹیپ And one thing I will share with you that the, uh, in the start they reject my uh, membership request due to some reason. So I will also share that reason and how I got the membership after that rejection and how I resolved that issue. And which kind of documents is important for this membership. So kindly watch the video till the end and after that if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section or you can contact me on instagram so guys let's start it first of all the important thing for the membership of saudi council of engineering is five years of experience after graduation if you are graduated engineer but you didn't complete your five years then don't try for the Saudi Council of Engineer membership but if you have completed successfully five years after your graduation then you are eligible for this membership so this is the most important and uh, the eligibility criteria for this membership after this which kind of document is uh, important or required for this membership first of all you should have a graduation uh, you, you should have a, your degree and for your information no need of any kind of attestation for this uh, membership if you are already inside the saudi arabia listen to me carefully here if you are inside the saudi arabia on a labor visa or any other friction visa so no need to attest your degree for the saudi council of engineering membership i have any attestation from saudi embassy and i got my membership today alhamdulillah okay the second thing which is the most important is employment letter what is employment letter let me uh, discuss it here in detail employment letter is a letter from your sponsor or from your company where they Uh, uh, explain or they uh, tell you about it that you are working with them on the profession of on the comma number all there is they give all your information and uh, with the details on that employment letter and that employment letter should be ch- uh, chambered by the chamber of commerce this is the most important thing the second thing you should have a valid comma and uh, five years after graduation and uh, there's also more like a cva if, but cv is optional but the most important thing is here is the introduction letter and no need uh, for any kind of experience later of five years this is not uh, not required if you want to upload your cv you can but the most important is that you should complete five years after your graduation and you have to upload your degree front Uh, p- uh, front page and also and the second you have to upload the back side of uh, your degree also then employment letter a comma passport and a uh, passport size picture okay these are the requirements now wh- what you will do if you when you completed your uh, five years of experience then you have to visit the Saudi Council of Engineering website you have to make your profile there and it is very easy Uh, through Upshare, when you enter your uh, Iqama, you will get a SMS or OTP uh, by your Upshare number. So when you enter that one by Napaz, they will get all your details from your Upshare. And after that, you just upload the documents. Now there is a question. If you are a freelance service or you are working with KPL, so how you will get employment later? Now this is a challenge for some people. Why this is a challenge? Because mostly the kapil don't know about this letter so so there is a solution for this also i have a solution for that you have to contact any kind uh, your friend or any other person 
he get his introduction letter and you should have to show that letter to your kapil that i need it after that every kapil has their own office i uh, and arabic we call it maktab and they will uh, or you can prepare that letter by yourself just get a uh, 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 page from your cable or what is called uh, the head, uh, letter head from your kapil and then he will proceed for the chamber of commerce and chamber of commerce registration fees thirty five real so you can pay that by yourself so these are the requirements now there is a new thing which I experienced by myself today my other colleague they got their membership when they pay all the pieces. But today I receive an email from a third party that Saudi Council share my credential with them for the verification. So now this is something new in the verification process. I got my membership, but they will verify my credential through third party with my university and uh, or our HEC Higher Education Commission. Now the second question is what are the fees for the membership? Now when you uh, Enter or upload all your documents. After that, you have to uh, pay 500 real for the verification. So it will take maximum one day, two day, or maximum one a week, one week. After that, you will receive a message that your uh, application is accepted, rejected, or you need to change something like that. Our application is accepted and just pay the membership fees. So now it depends on you during the. Uh, when you are going to make your profile, so that time you have to choose one year, two year, three year. For how many years you need maximum? I think three years. For how many years you need that membership? If you choose one year, so you have to pay two hundred and fifty real. But I choose three years, so I I should I have paid seven uh, hundred and fifty real for that membership. Okay, guys. And after that, paying that membership, they will show you the uh, downloads and all the things there. Like introduction letter to write downloaded, and you are you will get your certificate after this third party verification in a minimum, um, uh, minimum one week and maximum one month. Okay, what was the thing that they reject my membership? Last year, uh, I applied for the membership. So guys, when they notice that there is a, the name is incorrect on the Yama, so they reject my. Uh, Request and they told me that your name on the Ikhama and on the degree should be same. Not in Arabic. In Arabic, mostly this it's incorrect and it's not a problem. Uh, in English, after that I applied in my company previous company to change my name on the Ikhama, but uh, they refused. They say we will do it, but they didn't. So when I joined my new company, they changed my name and they updated my name on the Ikhama. And after that, there was a thing. Whenever, when once they rejected your uh, application, so it will always be shown rejected. Then there is no option how to reactivate your profile or how to restart your process. So for that, you have to call Saudi Council of Engineering uh, call center. I will share their number in the description, and I will share also their website link in the description. So, if you need to call them, you can call them. So it is very easy. You have to call them. After call, they will ask you select one for Arabic, two for English. You have to select two for the English. After that, you have to enter your Ikhama number, followed by hash uh, by hash. So then they will give you different option with different digit. But the you have to wait for the digit number five. You have then click on five. After that, they will connect you to the. Uh, agent and you have to explain all the process to them and they will raise a ticket for you and minimum or ma minimum two days and maximum one week your uh, application will be reopened for the next steps so uh, today at morning i get email from that that my application is open the for the next uh, for further procedure after that i paid my piece 750 real and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i got my membership with saudi council of engineers so i think i covered all the important things here if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and or you can contact me through my instagram profile so 
uh, let me uh, summarize the video and uh, first of all you have to complete five years after your graduation second thing no need for any kind of attestation you have to create your profile in the Saudi Council of Engineering website there and you should have an employment letter cham uh, attested from the Chamber of Commerce and you have your you ha should have your degree uh, picture back side front side your ekhama your passport and you have to upload this and the Saudi Council of Engineering website and your profile and after that you have to pay 500 real verification piece in one week you will get your, the response that your application is accepted rejected or you, they need something more like that whatever is the response and if it's accepted after that you have to pay membership piece which is 750 real and after that you will get introduction letter that this is your membership number blah 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 and the certificate you will receive in just uh, from one week to one month the employment letter is the most important without this you can't get your uh, membership and i will explain again there is a difference between employment letter and experience letter some people think that experience letter for five years employment letter no this is incorrect employment letter you will get from your current company or kapil where they will mention all the detail about you like for example i will share one uh, screenshot at the end of the video like they will say the uh, he is working with me name sepulda position construction labor ikhama number the blah 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 all these detail will be there and then you have to update that and the Saudi council of membership so these are the thing if you have any question you can contact me on instagram and you can also ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching like the video and share it with your friend thank you